Bible or talk about the Bible other than the priest alone. And if the priest got it wrong, you had nothing to say about it. You had no way to know. And God forbid that it should ever be that case again, where you're depending on somebody who could very possibly make mistakes. But you don't have to. Because we have the Bible for ourselves. Don't ever lose that. Because that's God's voice to you. And if you listen to his voice, you will know the Lord. You will know his forgiveness. And you will never have to question his love. Amen. And now may this peace of God, which transcends all human understanding, guard and keep your hearts and minds through faith in Christ Jesus. Once again, please rise. Turn to page 31. May we join in confessing together our Christian faith with the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God. Eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became fully human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who in unity with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. suffered a seizure and is undergoing testing to understand what's 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 going on but we he's at, he's home and doing better so we entrust him and the family to God's care so please rise and turn to page 32 where we join the prayer for church <coughs> gracious God and Father we praise you for the countless blessings which we receive from your hand the beauties of creation and the bounties of the earth joy of life and the pleasure of friendship, the good of work and the gift of rest, the privilege to share happiness and sorrow with one another, 
Above all, we praise and thank you for your saving word, for your son's body and blood, which you give us to eat and to drink in the sacrament. Through these means of grace, you send the Holy Spirit into our hearts and unite us to Jesus and to the whole Christian church on earth. Strengthen us through this heavenly food. Increase our trust in Christ and our love for one another. Great God and Lord, without your continuing help, we easily waver in our faith, lose courage, and grow careless in our watchings. The times and days are perilous. Give us strength to face the evils of each day with fresh confidence. Open our lips to speak of your grace, and move us to use the gifts that you give us to share your word of salvation with all people. Protect and prosper the family, the school, the government, and all good institutions that you have established for the benefit of society. Remember in mercy those who are sick and suffering, and bring your healing to troubled homes and lives. Move us to pray for those in need, and to help them with deeds of kindness. Heavenly Father, we ask that you be with confidence. We ask that you keep him strong, you keep him healthy. We ask that you allow the doctors more insight into what is happening, that they might treat him. But we ask that you heal them. We ask that you allow this to be a, a, an isolated incident, that he, this doesn't have to happen again. But we entrust him and his family to your care, knowing that your love is even greater than ours. And we ask that your will be done. And now hear us, Lord, as we bring you our private petitions. Now, eternal God and Father, keep us in the saving faith, and so enable us to overcome all things through our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Praise to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In love, he has blessed us with every spiritual blessing. He protects and preserves his church in every age and gives us confidence to lift up our heads and to watch for Jesus with joy. Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, we praise and thanks and honor and glory forever and ever. gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you all.
Supper, also pray to the Father on our behalf, praying that we be one, united, in all we believe and teach and hold dear. He also talked to the Apostle Paul that the celebration of this supper was a confession of that unity, which is why we practice what we call close communion, and ask that those who have made a public confession of this unity of faith, through membership at Grace Lutheran Church, the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod, could this time come and receive the supper of the Lord. Please follow the instructions here. True blood of your Savior Jesus, poured out for you for the forgiveness of all of your sins. Take and drink. This is the true blood of your Savior Jesus, poured out for you for the forgiveness of all of your sins. Take and drink. This is the true blood of your Savior Jesus. Now may this true body and blood of your Savior Jesus strengthen and preserve you in the true faith unto life everlasting. Depart in peace. Your sins are forgiven.
Now may this true body and blood of your Savior Jesus strengthen and preserve you in the true faith to life everlasting. Pardon me. Your sins are forgiven. of your forgiveness may be restored to live a new and holy life through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit